The Rock Lords were a toy line manufactured by Tonka in 1986. They were a spin-off of Tonka's moderately successful GoBots franchise, but instead of transforming planes, vehicles, and other creatures, the Rock Lords were, you guessed it, transforming rocks. The toy line came about as a direct tie-in to the GoBots, the Battle of the Rock Lords movie, which premiered in theaters on March 21, 1986, and grossed approximately $1.3 million globally. This was the very first GoBots feature-length film, and actually predated the Transformers movie by five months. The movie had the typical good versus evil theme, with the evil Rock Lords led by Magmar trying to capture all of the power scepters from each community in an attempt to rule their planet, Cortex, and eventually the entire galaxy. The friendly Rock Lords, Solitaire and Nugget, were sent by Boulder, the good leader, to find the GoBots and solicit them for help. The evil renegade GoBots, always hungry for more power, overhear this exchange and toss themselves into the mix as well. Series 1 of the toy line featured three good rock lords, Boulder, Granite, and Nugget, and three evil rock lords, Magmar, Tombstone, and Sticks and Stones. The figures came packaged on single cards with a mini comic and one weapon each. Series 2 featured the remaining main characters from the film, including the evil Brimstone, Slimestone, and Stoneheart, as well as the good Crackpot, Pulverize, and Marbles. Series 3 consisted of two additional evil Rock Lords, Saberstone and Spearhead, but also introduced the Jewel Lords to the line. Three Jewel Lords were produced, including Solitaire, Sunstone, and Flamestone. These figures are quite difficult to find in the collecting community. In an attempt to continue the failing line, Tonka then produced the Shock Rocks series, which includes Stonehook, Rock Roller, and Rock Shot. Expanding on this line were the Action Shock Rocks, which hailed Blast Rock, Stunstone, and Dragonstone, all of which are extremely rare. Interesting to note is that the three Action Shock Rocks were also produced in different colors for the European releases, making those extremely hard to track down. In addition to the standard action figures, Tonka produced furry little Rock Lord companions called the Gnarlies. Eight regular-sized Gnarlies were released, each representing a different animal or creature, as well as a large leader Gnarly called the Snarly Gnarly. Capitalizing on the 80s dinosaur craze, Tonka also released two Rockasaurs figures, Terra Rock, similar to a pterodactyl, and Spike Stone, Two vehicles were released for the Rock Lords line, the Good Rock Pot and the Evil Stone Wing. The latter transforms from land vehicle to high flying jet. The grail for most Rock Lords collectors is the giant Fossil Lord combiner figure, Gestalt. Gestalt was released as a Japanese exclusive in the Machine Robo series and is extremely difficult to find. Tonka had hopes to continue the line, but unfortunately sales were rapidly declining and the transforming figure market was clearly dominated by Hasbro's Transformers. The 1986 Tonka catalog even advertised a playset called Stonehead, which was never produced. The Rock Lords were never really a popular action figure line, but as children of the 80s have grown into toy collecting adults, the toys have become a unique and fond memory for many. And through this love of transforming toys, whether it's a Camaro or a Rock, the Rock Lords will remain a part of the 80s action figure landscape forever.